If we click on store in our left toolbar, we get taken to our default full store page that was added automatically when we added the store into our site. It's currently reflected in our navigation, but remember we can always click here to pages and hide that or change the name if desired, just like any other page. But this serves as your main store shopping page with the full store visible cart and search box shown nicely. But that doesn't mean that this has to be the only place on the site that people can shop. Clicking into our store tab once again, I wanna click up here to add store widgets. This will automatically forward us to the widget tab where we see a filtered list of widgets specifically relating to the store. And what's great is once the store has been added in and set up, which we covered in the previous videos, any store widgets that you add to the site will function right out of the box. They'll pull all of the store settings and product information from the dashboard that you already set up and display them on your site beautifully without the need for any additional setup. Couple things I wanna point out here. Main store. This is the widget that you'll use to display a full shopping experience for your customer. It's the same widget here that we see on the store page front and center, but of course this can be moved to any page you want by using the main store widget. Here as it stands on our page already, let's click into its settings panel. Lots of drop downs, clearly lots of options. Just keep in mind as notated here, there are lots of settings in here that reference products and categories, and all of that needs to be set up in the actual store dashboard as we already covered. Once you've got that ready, this process here will be a breeze. Let's expand general. First option is initial screen. Keep in mind that this widget is extremely powerful and will allow the customer to browse and click through the entire store here in one widget. This is not a stagnant window, but rather a shopping experience. So this option allows you to decide what's shown to the customer first. You can have the main store as it says here, or you can pick a particular category or single product as you've set them up in the store. Down in categories, you can configure the layout here of how they're seen, customize the text, the image sizes, aspect ratio of the product images, lots and lots of stuff. Same goes for products, full control here of how they're displayed in the store. Clicking into single product page, this lets you style up what it looks like when a user clicks on a single product to view its full description page. Everything from layout style, thumbnail aspect ratio, text positioning, and a ton of toggle options for what you want displayed and what you don't want displayed. Clicking to cart and checkout, which as you can see the editor is now switching to it as well so you get to see the changes here in real time. More text styling, link styling, all kinds of good stuff, and of course your spacing settings for the whole widget as well. And finally, back to our widgets panel, and I'm gonna filter these to store once again. These last three widgets, shopping cart, store search, and store categories, all do exactly as they say, and they can be placed anywhere on your site. And when clicked, such as the cart, the user will automatically be taken to the full store page with the cart displayed and ready to purchase. Store search, again, the user can search anything they want at any time anywhere on the site, and they will be taken to the full store page with the results populated. And store categories allows you to display the categories of products anywhere on your site that again, when clicked, takes the user to this full store page with the category they've selected in full detail.